Hey guys, welcome to Easy Academy. Today we're going to be learning about binomial probability. So what exactly does binomial probability examine? Well, it examines the probability that from a sample size of n, x number of things have an attribute. So this attribute could be anything from people who don't wear seatbelts to people with certain genetic traits. So it's essentially calculating the probability that x number of people, for example, who don't wear their seatbelts from a sample size of, let's say, 10 people. So how exactly do you calculate binomial probability? You need your TI-84 graphing calculator, and you need to find the binomial PDF and the binomial CDF functions. So in order to get to there, you have to click the second plus the VARS key in order to find the list of functions. So what exactly is the difference between binomial PDF versus binomial CDF? Well, binomial PDF is essentially investigating the probability that one thing occurs. So for example, if the sample size is let's say 10 and the probability that x occurs is 20% and x is equal to 4, it investigates the probability that exactly 4 out of 10 things have the attribute. However, in contrast, binomial CDF investigates the probability that uh, out of 10, a uh, sample size of 10, four things happen, but also investigates the probability of everything that precedes it. So when x equals to 3, x equals to 2, x equals to 1, uh, so it investigates the probabilities that everything preceding the x number also occurs. So it's essentially a cumulative of a bunch of binomial PDFs. So let's do an example. All right, so this problem says, a biologist examines fish for a genetic trait that may have been caused by industrial activity. Previous research has already discovered that the trait is found in one of six ducks. The biologist examines 12 ducks. What is the probability he finds this trait in no more than four ducks? So a key word here would be no more than four ducks, which means that it's including four, less than four too. So we need to use binomial CDF because it's a cumulative of everything from uh, four and less. So one way to differentiate and know for sure that this is a binomial probability problem rather than another, uh, for example, geometric probability problem is you need to have all three of the functions, the sample size, the probability, and the x. So do we have all these functions? We can see that the sample size is going to be 12 ducks right here. The probability that each duck has a trait is one out of six here, and x here will be Four because we're trying to find no more than four ducks. And because we know that it's no more than four ducks, it can also mean one duck, two ducks, three ducks, or four ducks. So we have to use binomial CDF because it's a cumulative of the function. So here we can just plug in the numbers, binomial CDF. We have to plug in the 12, the 1 out of 6, and the 4 here. And the number that we end up getting will be 0 0.96365. This means that there's a 96.365% chance that he finds this trait in no more than 4 ducks. All right, so let's do another problem. This problem says that 20% of people are left-handed. If we randomly select 10 people, what is the probability that the majority here is right-handed? So majority of people being right-handed would be uh, six or greater than six, right? So greater than or equal to six. So let's see the probability that someone is right-handed would be equal to the probability one minus the probability that someone is left-handed or 0.2, 20%, which is equal to 0.8. So here we can see that our sample size is going to be 10 and our probability is equal to 0.8. However, the X gets a little bit tricky because remember binomial CDF here, CDF here encompasses everything from the X and before the X. So if we were to put five here, uh, if we were to put five here, it would encompass every single thing from the probability of five people, five out of 10 people being right-handed to plus probability that five, four out of 10 people and three out of 10 people and two out of 10 people are right-handed, which is not necessarily what we want because that's less than six, which is a minority or equal to half. So what we can do is we can actually subtract one minus the binomial CDF of that to get 
binomial CDF of 10, 0 0.8, and 5 here. And the answer we get here would be 0 0.98059. So what we did here is we did 1 minus the probability that 5 out of 10 people are right-handed uh, plus the probability that 4 out of 10 are preceding it. So the only thing left after subtracting it from the probability of 1 would be the probability that the majority is right-handed from 6 out of 10 to 7 out of 10 to 8 out of 10 to 9 out of 10 to 10 out of 10, which means that you can just subtract it by 1, one, one minus the binomial CDF in order to find the answer.